Hey everybody, Machine Morel, my name's James, and welcome back to a new RuneScape Reboot episode. If you don't know what the series is about, basically every week you guys get to comment on what type of things you want me to make in-game, and the popular vote will win a lot of footage that I can put out in guides, in content, and in different tips and tricks to help you guys progress in-game. I also like to keep you updated with the biggest amount of news and footage that you can see that's relevant to what you're doing right now. Um, in saying that, what you're watching while I'm talking is actually a completely new money making method and you can put two and two together as you see. I like to give a brief explanation but I also want to talk about other things while you're watching. You're all very capable of seeing what's on the screen so in that way you can see what's going on and know how you're making money on the screen while you're listening. So guys, this way, you're making money through the Ankus. I'm showing you a complete safe spot and the requirements and inventory needed, as well as what you're wearing to get there. This is a bare minimum, and it'll actually still make you a good amount of money, upwards of 50k an hour, to get there, and to make the money back. So it's quite an equivalent way to make money in-game currently, and you guys asked me last episode, James, I really want to know how you can make money, as well as how you can train your stats at the same time. Here's your answer. One is the Ankus, and for anybody lower level who doesn't have the confidence to do them yet, in the fourth level of the Stronghold on Security, you can do flesh crawlers. They're found in the left back hand corner of the second level, and they're the really close approach where people are farming them for the herbs and cosmic drops. Also, they drop cosmic talentons and nature runes, which can quite literally make you bank if you can get one or two per run. It really is quite common, and you can make a lot of money for it. What you're watching now is a snapshot from a few days ago while the servers weren't so populated, but I will take you to a real life image of the game in just a minute's time. Guys, remember you can vote on absolutely all the content that you want to see in this series. So, what happened last time is a lot of people said they wanted to see a skilling type PvP type PvM type character. So what I'm doing here is leveling up a main type of character with a high emphasis on range for PvPing, as well as some defense and some attack and strength for a type of strength combination in PvP, also that is viable for PvM and it's also viable for skilling, hence my stats which you'll see very very soon on screen in the real life game to keep you most updated. Remember this is the 07 servers but it's just a few days ago, keeping my content really nice and colluded and making sure that everything still works up until this point. A lot of change in this last week. We've had hundreds of thousand more players join, and finally the world 301 has actually had a division in the Grand Exchange. Guys, to make money, I'd recommend one of two things. I personally made a method called the Street Flipping Method in-game, which you'll probably be seeing very, very soon um, in my own content on my own channel, which you can check out, and on Machine Realm. I'll definitely put snippets in there, but basically what you want to do is actually purchase an item for the lowest amount, and I'll go over this in the real game chat, which you'll now see here. And uh, what you can see now is actually how the game has changed and divided, and of course, the real method that I was talking about just then before I flipped over clips is the actual changing of street flipping, which, in, which what that means is that you can actually go to one world, preferably 301, and buy an item for the lowest amount of price, and then actually resell it for the highest amount of price in a different world. I find that the different worlds work better because there's actually no set areas designated yet on anything other than 301. So to the right of the, of the, Grand, of the bank, in which you'll see on 301 just a minute, I'll take you there now. So you can see what type of bank I've been making from the Ankus in my current um, inventory plus my current stats just from training from that Anku run to this Anku run so you can kind of see how I'm going um, and basically guys what's working out is um, the people have designated areas in the Varok um, bank that you can actually go ahead on one side and go ahead on the other side um, to sell different type of items it's like a designated zones so to the right which I'll take you to now. You can see how they have magic items. To the left, they have armor and whatnot. And then to the left, top corner of the um, of the uh, bank. Sorry about the stutter. You will definitely see how people are selling rares and type of armor. So we're here now, and you can see that in this area because it's not that populated. Um, this is where in 301 people would be selling the magic. Um, runes and whatnot. Uh, here, just to the left, where the anvil is, would be anything armor and throwing knife related or weaponry related. Here would be more weaponry related as well. In bank is miscellaneous as well as skilling. And then to the top left here is um, the skills and type of bones, mithril bones, whatnot. And then uh, obviously attacking armors and whatnot on this corner here. So, another method I would like to produce for you guys while you're not making skills, however, is to actually buy an item at, let's say, and I love this example, is iron knives. Because I make quite a lot of money if not iron knives. So, iron knives are uh, thrown and the reason people the the, flash, the price um, fluctuates is because it takes five it takes one iron bar to make five iron um, 
knives, and each iron knife typically goes for about 10 GP each, but each iron bar typically goes for 70, so for each bar you're actually losing 20 GP making the iron knives. So it's actually not viable for you to go ahead and make them yourself. The best way in that case is to go ahead and buy this, the iron ore and either smelt it or buy the knives and then resell them to people for extra profit. So the way I like to do that is just by simply going to 301, finding a buyer for 9 or 10 GP each, and then stopping and then reselling for 13 GP each. The the thing is, you'll actually make quite a lot of money about this in a very small amount of time because people will actually go ahead and buy what they need to progress in the game in its frantic state. It seems a bit, ooh, I don't know, maybe like it won't happen while I'm online, but if you sit there for about five minutes, and I can guarantee that's all you'll need, you'll go ahead and see that people really do that, and you're the one that can capitalize on it and make money. So that's another money-making method I'd like to release. The next one would be your type of skilling. If you haven't already seen it on my channel, thieving in Ardrin will give you money by following the type of stalls, chests, and, and other assorted items that you can steal to resell to the public. My favorite would be the blood runes you can get from the Chaos Druid Tower, or at my own level, the level 28 upstairs Ardrin and Relica nature rune. The nature runes sell for 140 GP each, and you can make a lot of money from them. Also, the Ankus will drop you blood runes, and death runes, as well as mithril ore. All these three will make a lot of money, and let's go to the 301 now, just to show you guys what it looks like on screen. Alright, I'm back, and uh, we're actually at the at the uh, place here. So this guy, hit is three hit KO. He's buying the nature runes for 130 GP each. Um, 160, I should say, which is quite a lot. I, I didn't think three hit KU. So he's... No, I don't want HP. 3 hit KU is, uh, ooh, and Shiz. So the price has actually rise, risen, I should say, in, um, Nature Runes. They were at 120 each a few days ago, so with the Ardrin method, I actually really recommend it now. I was a little less heartily recommending them in the past, but I am now. The Nats over there are going for 180 each. This guy is buying 3 hits, going for 160 each, but he's busy. I'm not sure that guy didn't trade me. Um, I'll go Chins again. See if he wants to buy the five. I don't think like people like buying things at five at a time or whatnot. But you can kind of see the division of the granite of the um I keep saying granite exchange, obviously, but you can kind of see the division of the world anyway. Um this guy's going 65 each, he's buying all natures, so as you can see, there's quite a lot of demand for them, which is great for me. That means I can just go do maybe one hour a day of um of Ardrun um, thieving at a low level, it's only 20, 28 with no lockpick requirement or anything, you can just pretty much lockpick the door and walk on in and make a good amount of money, so 5 made me just under a K, 5 takes a very very low amount of time and you can see how you can make quite a, a lot of money from it. So fire runes going for 10k each, if you want to make bank of fire runes, another money making tip is going ahead and um, doing the fire giants they will drop you a ton now judd over here he's buying death runes for 130 each i'm pretty happy with that considering the death runes are a very common drop for ankus so i'll sell my death runes now see how much money i make from them and they will roll in at whatever this guy tr I, I i do have trust in the economy if it's quite a low minuscule amount of money i'll i'll probably just decline but 14k i'll be more than happy with so bang i've just made it then probably half an hour worth of and now I've got my blood runes. So blood runes are quite expensive and a very very good common drop is pure essence from the Ankus. Guys you can't really lose from them. I love the that the fact that I was able to put them in a video because you really can't lose from them. It's great. Um, so what I'm going to do is probably sell these and move on and show you everything in the next episode. But I want to thank you now for your time and watching. If you did like this type of content, you want more money making guides, you want more tips, everything that you can do in the one video while I'm progressing and leveling up, keep in mind you can comment and you can like the video so you can show me where you want to go with it. You can see my own personal channel and I'd love to have you there too. And thank you for the new thousand people who have come to that as well. And guys, I hope Hope to see you in the future in the new videos. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to respond to this one. I'm really pumped to get this series out. And guys, I can't wait to see you in game in my French chat as well. Battle C3, get on it, and I'll see you next time with a new video. Take care and bye.